Hi guys and girls and welcome back to another video. In today's video I'm going to teach you how to make a saber like this. It's pretty easy to do. All you need is a few cubes and three materials. First you need the grip, then you need the pummel, then you need the guard and the blade. Or we can go with blade and then guard. For the grip as always use a cylinder and then go and change the vertices to 8. I like 8, you can go higher, you can go I'll just add in a cube, move it to about the blade height, and then uh, change it on the z-axis how you want your blade to be. I'm thinking something like this. Now go to side view and scale it on the y-axis, so S and Y, like that maybe, for now. And then we need that saber shape at the top. So I'll just move this one a bit higher, add a loop cut with Control R in the middle, move this one down, and maybe just change this one a bit. And we got that saber shape, that's cool. Also what we need is two new loop cuts around the point where you want the saber to curve. So I'll add something like this, and then you take the uh, lower one, and then the rest of of uh, this of the blade and then you just move it inwards like that pretty simple I know and now you take all edges except this one that you just selected so just go here uh, go around selecting edges and then you can press S and Y to scale it on the Y axis and also before you do that actually uh, you can also select this part right here the middle part because it can scale with that. You don't have to, but I kind of like it more with the middle part too. So like this. Maybe the middle part can be a bit uh, thicker. So we have a nice curve on the sword. Something like this. That's pretty good. Once you have that sword done, now you need the guard. Another cube. So just move it to around where the guard should be. I'll scale it on the z-axis and maybe move it a bit higher. And I have to make sure that the guard is good with the scale on the y-axis, on the x-axis. And what I like to do is just bring this other side a bit higher, so it looks cooler. Now you can uh, scale that, just the top part or just the bottom part or whatever you want. It's your sword. Maybe you can uh, add a loop cut in the middle and then just scale the sides like that, just the four, uh, the four ones and you got yourself a nice guard. Also what you can do is go ahead and add another cylinder and then scale it on the Z axis like this, place it up here and then scale it on Shift Z like that. Now you got yourself a better guard. And uh, then you can take this cube with L and maybe move it a bit higher. So I just scaled it a bit and now we got a nice sword. For the materials you need one for the handle or the grip and then you need one for the blade of course. Then just select the blade and assign that one and then I need another one for the guard and the grip and the pummel or not the grip just the guard and the pummel and assign those and you got yourself a nice sword like that. Oh yeah easy. That's about it for today. Hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully you got any suggestions so you can leave them in comments. And hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.